welcome back to another vlog. So today is February 20th. Um, it's about 12.35 in the afternoon. I know it looks a lot darker um, than it is. That's just because we are getting a ton of rain right now. So I got out of work and I have just been kind of sitting at home. I might take a nap later but just before I, as I was about to lay down I got a super exciting email oh check out my new phone case by the way it is pinhead from Hellraiser isn't that the coolest case ever I got this off the wish app so I thought I would mention that anyway um I came home to a really super exciting email from the founder of Feedspot. And as I was reading it, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. It says, I would like to personally congratulate you as Brianne Barbie has been selected by our panelists as one of the top 30 body piercing YouTube channels on the web. And there's like a little picture of an award and it says awarded top 30 body piercing YouTube channels. And I figured I would go ahead and vlog this because one, like how cool is that? Like I never win or get awarded anything. Like I think the only thing that I have from YouTube is my 100,000 subscriber plaque. Like I've never, I've never been noticed for anything else really. So I think this is just really cool. And it's just like a, like a blog website and they have all these different like piercing channels and um, actual piercers that have YouTube channels. So the fact that I actually like made the cut is amazing. So as you scroll down to number number eight, oh, there I am. And it's on the um, feed spot blog for top 30 piercing channels. Oh, that's so cool and I'm rank number eight out of 30. So that's like a really huge accomplishment. I also wanted to vlog a couple other things as well and it's been it's been a rough past week because um, a few days ago I found out something that was completely heartbreaking about my boyfriend or Shane as you guys know him as. I don't really want to get into it just because it was all posted very publicly and I'm actually very embarrassed about it because I never thought he would do something like this behind my back but I found out the day after Valentine's Day and our one year anniversary was supposed to be on the 18th so he did all this literally right before our one year anniversary i'm not going to go into too many details i'm not going to sit here and bash him because that's not worth my energy um he is currently not staying with me right now um i asked him to leave my apartment the day i found out so it's just been me and the dogs the last few days and that's totally okay with me because I'm not ready to make any decisions yet. I'm not ready to see him. I'm not ready to do anything. So I just wanted him to leave my apartment and just give me space and give me time to try to comprehend like why, why this happens to me, you know, considering my past and considering that I already had a huge heartbreak, you know, going through my last breakup and losing Motley, you know, that was that 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 almost killed me like I have never been in such a low state of mind I've never been in such a crappier time and when I met Shane things finally started to turn around and get better for me and I was finally happy and I was like wow there really are good guys in this world and maybe I do have a shot at you know finally being happy and you know, maybe getting married someday. Like, I thought everything was going to be fine. And then I find out this bombshell that completely destroyed me. Um, I, I don't even know what I want to do at this point. The only thing I know right now is I want space. I want time. That's it. I don't want, I want nothing to do with men at this point. I am completely over it. I don't even want to be in the presence of a male. Like, I'm just so fed up. I don't understand why this always happens to me. I don't understand what's wrong with me. I don't know. I I don't know. So, I don't know where he's staying. I don't know anything. I just know he's not here and he's not coming back here anytime soon. So, I just wanted to update you guys on that in case any of you have seen the drama that's been going on around my social medias, I didn't want anyone to 
assume the wrong thing or assume that, you know, I did something wrong because I didn't. I was 100% dedicated and committed to him. Like, he was my man. Like, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm fine. Um, I was very, very, very sad um, all weekend. And now I'm just kind of in the... I don't give a fuck slash angry stage <laughs> like I'm just kind of going through like all the phases right now and I'm just trying to do what's best for me what's best for me is to not talk about it publicly like this is the only time I'm gonna say anything and to just have space you guys know but I respect you guys enough and I love you guys enough to let you know what's going on in my personal life I I like to think that I'm pretty personal here on my channel and I like to keep you guys pretty well updated about what's going on with me and I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. Um, I chose to do YouTube. I chose to be in the public eye. Blah, public eye. <laughs> public eye. I didn't want attention on this, but it, everything was posted publicly and fuel was just added to the fire and there's really nothing I can do. I disabled comments on a couple of my pictures just because there was a lot of really unnecessary things and arguments going on that I just didn't want. So, but you know, it's whatever it, it happens. Um, it happens to me, unfortunately, but it, it happens. I'm like a champion at this kind of thing now, which is kind of sad. And me and my coworker were kind of like similar, like the same thing kind of keeps happening to both of us. So I told her, I was like, we really need to win an Oscar for this kind of stuff. Cause like men just love to cheat on us. I don't understand why. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to matter what I do, what I don't do. It just, men just aren't happy with me and that's totally fine like, you know and maybe it's just not in the cards for me like everything happens for a reason anyway moving on like i just want you guys to stay in the loop of what's going on with me you know so <sighs> yeah okay anyway on a better note <laughs> so we went from like we're doing like a like a sandwich right now we did good bad and now we're gonna go get back to good vlogging stuff so um, I, you guys know from my last vlog that I ordered the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Love Sick Collection, you know, the Blood Sugar Palette, and I got a few lipsticks. Well, it came last night at around 7 o'clock, and I didn't think it was going to arrive at my house just because, um, where was I going? Oh, yesterday was President's Day, and there's no mail on President's Day, but I got a knock on my door, and I received the package. I did already unbox it, but I have yet to film with it, and I figured I would kind of show everything um, in this vlog and show you guys, like, firsthand everything I got because I'm, like, looking at it right now, and I'm, like, I can feel myself blushing. Like, do you see that? Like, Ooh, it's like it's so beautiful okay so I'm gonna take you over to my table and I'm gonna show you everything I got um I'll try to open my blinds maybe we can get like a little bit better lighting so let's go to my table okay, look this is everything that I got from the lovesick collection from Jeffree Star Cosmetics so um, I'll save that for last I'll show you guys that last but here are the lipsticks that I got. I ended up getting two liquid lipsticks and I also got one lip ammunition. And here's what the outside packaging looks like. Uh, it's so pretty and gorgeous and red and hearts and just, oh, it's so freaking cute. So he decided to go with like a red chrome packaging for this launch and I couldn't be more excited about it. Okay, so the first liquid lip that I got is Restraints and this is like the metallic gray liquid lip. Now I don't know how often I'm going to wear this. I mostly just got it for like collection purposes or makeup looks that I want to do or concerts, things like that. But it is literally like a beautiful metallic gray. I really just love the way this looks. Like it's just a pure now I haven't swatched any of these yet. Um, I basically just taken them out of the tubes because I am going to be doing like a full swatch video on my channel or on this channel that you guys are watching but I'm just kind of showing you like a sneak peek in my vlog for right now. So that's the first one. Oh and here's like what the tops of them look like. 
And the next liquid lip that I got is this one, and this is Problematic. Now, I do not own a color like this because if you guys maybe do or do not know me, um, these kind of like pink berry colors are kind of out of my comfort zone. I don't wear them too often. Like the closest I'll get is like androgyny, but I really liked this one and I thought this one would be kind of cool to have in my collection. So I'm just going to take it out of the packaging and show you guys. So here's what problematic looks like. It's just kind of like a deep purple berry color. And like I said, I have not like swatched these yet on my lips or anything. I will do a whole separate video on that, but it looks like a really, really pretty color. The lip ammo that I got, um, those are the only two liquid lips that I got just because I wasn't that crazy about his lip color choices. So I got the two that I really wanted. And then I did get one lip ammunition and he does have a liquid lipstick in this shade but I really just wanted the lip ammunition for the packaging purpose. So here is what the Lovesick Collection um, lip ammos look like. They just have the red chrome with the little same bullet shape, and this one is in the shade Calabasas. And if you guys know, his liquid lip of Calabasas is extremely popular. Everyone absolutely loved it, so here's what the shade looks like. Really, really beautiful nude color again. And I did wanna share a little tip about the lip ammunitions by Jeffree Star because I have almost ruined a few of mine. The lip ammunitions are very difficult to close. You have to really push down until you hear them snap because what I was doing is I was leaving them like this. As you can see, that's still kinda open. I was leaving them like this and they were starting to get really dried out. So if you have any of your lip ammunitions by Jeffree Star, make sure and go check them right now and make sure they are all completely seamless and sealed shut tight because I didn't know that. I was just lightly closing them like all my other lipsticks and these ones you do have to close a little bit harder. But yeah, that is everything that I got as far as lip products. And then the star of the show is of course the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. And the packaging for this is just, it's beyond words. Like it comes in this little like VHS looking sleeve type thing. And then it has all of the, you know, information on the back. And then when you slide it out, oh my God, you guys, I was like in tears when I unboxed this last night, but here is what the palette looks like. And if you look really up close, it kind of looks like a leather material, but it is faux leather, but you can kind of see the texture there. And it opens just like a little medical box. And I love the idea behind this. I think it's super creative. I think it's very, very cool what he did. So when you open it, here is what it looks like on the inside. Like, do you, s and look at these freaking colors. Oh. I believe there are, my, sorry, my phone's going off if you can hear that. There are a total of 18 eyeshadows in this palette and they are all candy related, medical field related, like, they are just absolutely breathtaking. And I love the little logos he put on the last two. Oh, I just cannot wait to dive into this. I have not um, filmed with this yet. So then here is how thick it is. So yeah, super cute. Like this is one of my favorite palettes as far as packaging goes. Um, basically everything that I have for like my recent purchases, like this was the big one that I was waiting for. Um, my phone case was also what I was waiting for and I am expecting one more to come in the mail, so I'm really excited about that. At life events, nothing really has been going on. Um, an update on my eyebrows. You guys know I've got my eyebrows microbladed a couple vlogs back and it has been about three weeks since then, so they are totally healed and I am ready to go back in for my second session, um, probably beginning of March sometime. What's coming up, I also have my first tattoo appointment to get my sleeve done coming up the beginning of March. Um, really exhausted from talking so much, so I'm gonna lay down for a little bit and maybe find something to eat. I am taking a nap with the puppies, as you can see over there. I'm just chilling. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's everything that I have for right now. I hope you all are doing well, and I will see you in the next vlog clip. Okay? I love you guys. See you in a minute. Bye. Hey guys, it's about quarter to four in the afternoon right now. I am just making some 
dinner. As you can see, I'm just making my favorite rice meal. I don't know. I love rice, you guys. You know that. I just fed the dogs. <laughs> They're playing. Jackal, get water. Do your dogs ever do that when they, like, cough, but they, like, refuse to get a drink of water? Like, come on, dude. Use your head. I'm kind of picking up, really. I have, like, some dishes soaking that I need to do. Uh, what else? I cleaned my coffee pot from today. Um, I've just been kind of doing like little odds and ends, odd and end chores, and I kind of wanted to have a Stephen King marathon. Who's winning? Get a jackal. Get a jackalberry. jackal get it Ooh. <laughs> she takes playing so seriously you guys are dorks so yeah anyway um hopefully you can hear me okay with these dogs excuse me um i was kind of considering having a little stephen king marathon here are all of my movies Play nice. Um, a great majority of them are horror movies. Like, I have both the It movies here. I have the original and the new one that came out. I have all my Halloween movies. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? I have, like, Jaws. I have all kinds of stuff. But I'm really kind of feeling like a Stephen King marathon. So, when I think of a Stephen King marathon, I think of Misery. I think think of The Shining and I think of the It movies and I've really been into the new It movie so I'm thinking those three are what I want to watch tonight so yeah oh my gosh like this is like heaven like this trio right here like fuck me up Stephen King I did get a few packages in the mail ow a few packages in the mail that I figured we could unbox together on camera. So I have two envelope looking ones and then I have a box as well. So let me go grab my scissors real quick. Oh, I should probably stir my rice before it goes yucksy puxy. There we go. Got my scissors. So I have a pretty good idea of what these packages are. So nothing's really like a huge surprise. Um, we'll do this one from Amazon first. Cut open. Oh, yay! Okay, I know what this is. Um, this is my um, screen protector for my cell phone because the one on my phone was starting to get really gross looking. So I just got a pack of three, and these had pretty decent reviews, so I'm hoping they're good. These screen protectors for the S8 is like super hard to find because um, it has like the infinity screen, so. I guess these are supposed to be good, but we'll have to see. This next one is from Wish. I don't know what this one could be. Oh, I got another pop socket. That's right. I remember now. So, yeah, that's what this package is because I literally, like, I can never have enough pop sockets. If you don't know what a pop socket is, basically... It's that thing that goes on the back of your phone so you can hold your phone really easily. So just got another one of those off Wish. This one was like super hard to find because, and it's like actual pop socket brands. That's kind of cool. Um, these are just like really super hard to find for some reason on the Wish app because they have like the ones where you put your finger in and I don't like those. I like these ones. Like I like the OG pop socket. So that's what that is. This box right here, ooh, it feels kind of heavy. This is my horror pack box for the month of February. So I will unbox this in a separate video on my channel. So you guys will have to wait and see for that one. And I will also review the movies that I got last month. So I will have to film this on a different day because I don't want to open it. But yeah, that's that was just my mail of the day. Um, nothing really too exciting. I'm going to wait for my rice to finish up. I'm going to start my movie and just just enjoy myself. So I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye. It 
is coming down. Hey guys, it is February 22nd right now and I just got out of work. I have had probably one of the worst mornings ever and uh, it was it was a freaking day. So I worked this morning. My boss asked me to come in at 6.30 instead of 7. So you know, I was like, yeah, that's no problem. And so I wake up this morning and I'm in my kitchen six o'clock, so a half hour before I have to be to work. <laughs> I go in my kitchen and I throw up all over my kitchen. I don't know why. I felt really, really crappy, but I was like, you know what, I gotta go to work. I need I need the money. Um, I can't be doing this sick shit. So, so I, you know, clean everything up. I take a sip of water and then I come out to my car to leave for work. And I go to put my key in my door to unlock my car. And lo and behold, my key will not unlock my car at all like not even a little bit it just it wouldn't freaking budge so I'm thinking like well you know holy shit this sucks so I'm trying for like 20 minutes I have 10 minutes to be to work and it's just not working I tried everything I tried blowing on my key blowing on my lock nothing I don't know if it was frozen or what it just it was not working and now my CD player is not working Ugh. so I ended up having to walk to work this morning and you know it's not a big deal you know I've walked to work for years before you know not not a huge deal to me but the thing that is not good about that is I have to go to the bank which is where we are going right now and in my purse walking to work in the dark I had about two grand worth of money in my purse that I was going to keep in my car at work so it was safe and locked up and my vlog camera, I have my vlog camera with me too. So I'm like, watch this be the day where I get fucking mugged and my money gets stolen. Like that would have just been the cherry on top of my fucking life. So, and now my CD player is not working. It's just, it's been a day. And then work was extremely busy. Like we had um, customers coming in and not calling ahead for big orders. It was, it was just insane. So I had my boss bring me home and my car was able to get unlocked. Obviously that's why I'm in it. And now I'm gonna go to the bank and then I'm gonna go home and I'm going to sleep literally the rest of my day away because, ugh, please work. I'm trying to, no, my CD player is not working. Cool. We're gonna take the highway and I need my sunglasses. And there is literally a car in front of me and they have like a trailer full of trash and none of it is secured. I swear to God, if that like great thing comes flying at me, I'm going to scream. <sighs> so I hope you all are having a much better day than I am because my day is not, not the greatest. So hopefully there are no asshole drivers and I can just get my errands done and go home. That is the goal. I hope this truck isn't getting on the highway. Okay, he's turning. All right, and on the highway we go. Let's do this. I just finished up at the bank, got all of that deposited. Thank goodness. Now I am going to head home. 
Oh, look at that. A perfect opening right for me. Yay. Oh my gosh, and a green light? You guys. Oh, now it's red. For those of you wondering what all that money was that I had to deposit, every year for tax season, if you do YouTube, it's considered a, um, a personal business and self-employment. And YouTube doesn't take taxes out like a normal job does. You have to pretty much pay in. I'm gonna go inside and take a nap and I will vlog back with you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey guys, um, welcome back. Uh, today is Saturday, February 24th and it is currently 7.05 at night. Um, I didn't have to work today. So I was gonna make literally the whole day a filming day, but I woke up, I had breakfast, I had everything all set up to film, and I just wasn't inspired. Like, I just did not wanna film. And I'm very much someone who gets a lot of energy during like the nighttime. Like I'll do like a majority of my cleaning during the nighttime and things like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna rest, watch movies, you know, chill, relax, try to recover from my busy week, and then I'll see how I feel tonight. So I started filming about an hour and a half ago and I filmed my very first look using the blood sugar palette. And this is what it looks like. You guys get kind of like a sneak peek um which eye was it it was this eye um you'll see it in the actual makeup tutorial but i fucked up this eye because i had like liquid eyeliner on my eyelash when i opened my eye it got all over so this eye is a little fucked up but um yeah here's kind of what it looks like it's just kind of like a red cut crease with gold so i don't know it was kind of random i literally like usually when i do makeup looks i um will usually um, kind of plan them out in my head what I'm gonna do. I was so nervous to play with this palette today for some reason. I don't know why, but um, I'm very intimidated by this and seeing everyone else's like makeup tutorials that they've been uploading using this. I don't know, I just felt very nervous because I'm not like a makeup artist or anything like that. I'm just an average everyday person, but I, I put it to good use and I had a lot of fun, so I will try to work on that video ASAP, but um, I think it turned out okay. I mean, it could have honestly gone a lot worse because usually when I'm nervous to do my makeup, my makeup turns out like shit, so... Yeah, but I think it I think it turned out okay. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, you guys know every time in my vlogs, you guys get sneak peeks of stuff. Around nine o'clock, my friend um, Christine is picking me up and we are going to go smoke some hookah. I have not done that in a many, oh my, years. Like I have not smoked hookah in years. So um, I'm very excited to go and do that. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna film a couple more videos. I'm going to film uh, my horror pack unboxing for the month and I'm also going to film a what I bring with me in my tattoo bag so pretty much when I go and get tattooed I show you guys everything that I bring with me there so that's just kind of what I'm doing right now uh, then I'm going to go hang out with my friend for a while smoke some hookah come home crash and tomorrow's Sunday and I always hate Sundays because then the next day is Monday it's a whole new week you guys know so yeah I'm just kind of rocking a ponytail right now because I'm 
so sick of my hair. <laughs> like, it's just always in the way. So I was like, ah, eh, ponytail it is. So, okay, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what I've been doing. I got all my other videos edited, scheduled, uploaded onto my channel. So I'm super happy, very, I feel very, very accomplished for that. So I'm just kind of working on a new batch of videos that I want to have ready. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Ugh. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the next day, Sunday, February 25th. It is just after nine o'clock in the morning, it's like 9.10, and I don't know why I am up so early because I had a very late night last night. <laughs> um, so I left last night after filming, I left at about nine o'clock, and me and my, oh hi honey. Me and my friend went to um, hookah and we were there for a couple hours and then we decided to go um, next door to Mulligan's Bar, which we've never been to before. But I guess it's like super like hardcore like bar bar and you know, we're just used to the bars that like we go to. So we were like, oh, let's, let's just try something different. So we went there and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I really, really liked it. I actually met a subscriber there. <laughs> Which of course we were both we were both pretty drunk, so I honestly don't know if she even remembers meeting me. But I walk in the bathroom and she's just kind of looking at me like that, and I go in the stall and we both start peeing, and she's like, "Oh, you have a YouTube channel, don't you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I do." I, wow. Good morning, honey. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, I had um. <laughs> Aww. Oh, what a big yawn for the big boy! Oh, you guys! Can't you get along? Avril, <laughs> don't chew on his arm, please. <laughs> So yeah, that's where we went last night and we had um one of their famous like shots. It's I think it's called like a stew. I'm not 100% sure. I think if I remember correctly, but they literally like light it on fire. Like it was it was insane. Like I have never taken a shot that was on fire before cuz you guys know I don't drink that often. So like Seeing that, I was like, holy god, jackal, I'm right here, honey. So seeing that, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, and it actually tasted really, really good. So I actually took a video of what the shot that we had looked like. Like, it was insane. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I know a lot of you are probably like, okay, but I don't know. To me, it was really cool. Look at that. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I loved it. I loved it. I just thought it was the coolest thing. I really need coffee. I really need something to eat. And you guys really gotta pee, huh? And then tomorrow is a whole new work week, but I'm excited because my sister is on um, spring break for college, so she'll be here all week to watch the babies while I'm at work. Yes, Jackaberry. Good boy. Yes. So cute. Hi there. Woo, princess. Okay. Hi guys, good evening. It is almost eight o'clock on the same day, February 25th. 
Um, I just had some dinner. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, I just had some dinner and I am watching YouTube videos and I'm actually going to start editing this vlog so I can get it up. So I just wanted to stop back here and end the vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I watched one of my new movies that I got today and I really liked it. I really liked it. So you guys will have to find out which one that is when I upload my horror pack unboxing. But yeah, so now I'm just watching YouTube videos and I will probably do this and edit until I go to bed because I have a very busy day tomorrow. I have a um, work event tomorrow. So I work in the morning about through half the day and then I have an event that goes into the evening. So it's going to be a long Monday, that's for sure. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to get some rest and edit this vlog. And me and the Paparunios. <laughs> Alright, little girl. We'll see you later. And I think Jackal's over there in this couch. Yeah. <laughs> really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe or Chucky will come and get you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys.